Okay, everything looks a little funny today, and that is because I could not get my uh, computer camera or microphone to working. And I wanted to get these readings out to you all, so I was like, okay, I'll set up my camera. So we'll, uh, we'll try to work it from here. Okay, let me see. Now we had uh, one request for number two. That was the Archangel Oracle cards. So I'll, I'll pull these out and shuffle them up for you. And that was from, uh, I think it was Kim asked. Yes, that was Kim. Okay. This other camera is nice too. Sorry about that. This camera is nice too because uh, it shows up a lot clearer in dim in dim lighting, and this lighting is very dim. I was afraid you all wouldn't be able to see it. Yeah, I don't know if there's just so many people online right now or what, but. I could not get anything to work in and stay on anywhere, so, um, okay, first off, you have Beloved One, this is the Archangel, uh, Shamuel, Shamuel? I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Additional message, love is in and around you right now. You don't need to search for it. Rather, by holding loving thoughts and conducting loving actions, you attract and manifest love in all aspects of your life. Call upon me to guide your thoughts and actions to bring romance into your life. Converse with me regularly about your love life. I can help you fall in love with your life and heal and manifest the wonderful relationships. Now, uh, working with Archangel Chamuel. Chamuel's aura is pale green, like springtime leaf in the morning sunlight. You can feel close to Chamuel's loving energy by wearing or carrying a green fluorite crystal. So there you go, Kim. A green fluorite crystal. They're pretty easy to come by if you don't already have one. I think I'm pronouncing that, that right. It was C H A M U E L. Chamuel. The next one is from the Golden Tarot, and that was requested by, uh, Jill. Okay. I thought I had my cards in my box, and I didn't. This is a beautiful deck of cards. I love how big they are too. You can see the picture really well. Let me see. It, it's almost easier to shuffle them this way. Okay, I think they're shuffled enough. Split them three times. And bring them back together, I'll do this one. Something told me to, uh, I might just set these off camera. Here we go, 
the first one is the ten of um, the ten of pentacles or the ten of coins or whatever you want to call that one um, next I believe that's the Goodness, I'll have to look that up. <laughs> I haven't uh, touched these in a while. And the three of staves. That that was the fool. Okay. I almost said the one of clubs so, or staves. But uh the Ace of Staves, I should say, but I, I knew that wasn't it. So, this is uh, the Ten of Coins. It means, uh, excuse me, it means domestic prosperity or success in business. I see with this one, it kind of threw me because I'm used to a different type of uh, full card. And this goes back to the Renaissance and was originally called the Madman. So this means innocence, uh, auspicious start of new adventures and opportunities, enthusiastic willingness to make a fool of oneself to, re to reach one's higher self. The Three of Batons. Um, it's reversed so it says it warns against unrealistic expectations that uh, you might get from these cards um, it warns against uh, wasting your time dreaming about something and also it warns you against helping somebody with an ulterior motive for helping or perhaps someone's going to help you and expect something in return or I don't know so I hope these made sense for you Jill not too bad good stuff here it's saying take a risk but don't expect a a big payout okay there will be a payout but it won't be huge things won't be quite as nice as you expect them to be they'll still be good though and good's not bad <laughs> okay let me see who are these readings for now the the rune they were for uh, where are we at okay uh, Bridget and Thomas so Bridget and Thomas uh, Bridget first Nothing comes up right away. <sighs> They're going to make me work for this one. <laughs> Not you, Bridget. The, the runes. No, that one's... Ooh, okay. That, definitely that one. Okay. Oops. So these three get turned over. And we'll see what you have there. The first one, Burkana, it refers to uh, the birth of something. Not necessarily a physical birth, but a birth of uh, an idea. Uh, of 
a project, uh, something, the beginning of something. Um, it could mean growth, health, or refer to the earth for some reason, to the planet. Next one up, uh, this is a symbol of water. Um, and it's like water, fluid, and your emotions are fluid. Um, it could also mean fears or refer to another woman or possibly yourself, I guess. Um, so yeah, emotions and fears, uh, you're fearing things, uh, maybe progress, maybe advancement of, uh, I don't know. Uh, let me, let me finish it up. Uh, Thurisaz, uh, is, uh, the thorn. And it refers to hardship, pain, introspection, focus. Okay. So putting these together. Um, sounds like something's going to get started. It's going to grow a bit. It progress. Um, your health is going to be good, which is, you know, always a plus. Um, emotions and fears are running high and I don't know if it's the hardship and the pain you're fearing or maybe you're just looking in and on something from a distance um, trying to focus it might be your emotions and not something negative coming up you know just your emotions fearing what could happen when there might not really be that much to it So stick with it, whatever starts. Keep the ball ro rolling. Don't let your fears overcome. All right. Now Thomas. Okay, this one came up. Now, Thomas, for yours, Ganaz um, means knowledge, wisdom, insight, creativity, inspiration. All good. You got the Brakana too, which means birth, the growth, start of something new, um, new, something new, a new project, something you've been inspired to do. Um, water though, it looks like emotions are going to be playing. Um, fears of something, like Bridget's. <laughs> but, 
in the end, there's going to be joy and success, um, recognition, maybe, for what you've done, and you'll be feeling content. And in the end, feeling content over something we've accomplished is great. <laughs> it's a great feeling. Um, don't let your emotions get the best of you, like I told Bridget. Um, it looks pretty good. Okay. So there you all go. I'm working on some other stuff. I doubt I'll do much more tonight. It's late. It's one, almost 1.30. Um, but there are more videos in the works. So uh, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes peeled, as they say. Which I, I always found to be a, a strange expression. <laughs> peeled like a grape. Hmm? <laughs> anyway. Peace. And believe because the spirits are out there. You all have a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.